Hi, this is Mark. And this is Christine. And in this tutorial, we're going to add a lot of stuff to the game. First, we're going to make the game look better by adding some islands into our ocean. And then we're going to add our first enemies. So let's run the game and see what it'll look like. I see the islands and enemies that I have to dodge. If I touch one, I lose the game and have to restart the level. So we've shown the game, and we can unbold that from our list. Go back to the file we finished the last tutorial with and open it. Start by creating some island backgrounds. Just like the ocean tile, we need a new background for them. We don't use sprites because the islands also don't do anything, and they just need to be backgrounds placed in the game for good looks. So create the background and name it BG underscore island 1. Click Load Background and choose one of the three pictures we can choose from. I'm going to choose this one because I think it looks the best. Now that we've created the island backgrounds, we can unbolt that and start placing them in the room. Open up the room and go to the Tiles tab. We don't need to be in the background tab because then we would be replacing the ocean background when we just want to put the ocean island images on top of the ocean background. You can click anywhere on the screen and you will see an island there. The cool thing about the way we have set up views is that the room is now a visual level editor. We can put islands throughout our level and the player will see them all in order from the bottom ones first, then the top ones. Let's place several around the room in a cool pattern. And now that we've placed the islands in the room, we can unbold that from our checklist. Now we can create the enemies. Just like the plane, we're going to create a sprite for the enemy first. Right click on sprite and create sprite. Name the new sprite SPR underscore enemy. Click load sprite and choose one of the three enemy planes. Remember to again keep precise collision checking checked. Click OK and we've created the sprite and can unbold that. Now we create an object that to associate with the sprite. Right click objects, choose create object, and name it obj underscore enemy. Make it look like the enemy and we can unbold the object creation task from our list. Now that we have an enemy object, it needs to do actions. We first want our enemy to be destroyed when it gets hit by a player's bullet. Getting hit is a collision event, so click add event, collision, obj bullet, when the enemy is hit by a bullet, it gets destroyed, so drag in the recycle bin to destroy the enemy. But we also want the bullet to go away. If it doesn't, it will just shoot through the enemy and possibly destroy another enemy. We don't want to be able to defeat a whole line of enemies with just one bullet, so drag in another recycle bin icon. On the Applies To section, choose Other. What does Other mean? Other is the other object involved in the event. This is a collision event with another bullet. The other object in this case is the bullet that hit the enemy and the object that we want to destroy. Now we can unbolt the destroy on bullet collision task. We also want the player to lose the game if he hits an enemy. Add another collision event, this time with the player. Click add event, collision, obj underscore player. When this happens, we want the player to lose and have to restart the level. Go to the main 2 tab and drag the restart game icon in. It's the green arrows one. Now, when the player crashes into an enemy, his plane will be destroyed and he will have to start the game over. We can now unbolt the task from our list. Lastly, we want to put enemies in the room. Go to the room and then the objects tab. Choose the enemy. Just like the islands, we can create the enemies in patterns we want just by placing them in the room. The enemies near the bottom, will be seen first, then as the game goes on, the enemies near the top will show up. Remember when we reach the top, the game ends, so don't put too many enemies right at the top. This is because right before they come into view, the level will end and the player won't actually have to face them since he will soon be the level right when he has to face them. Put the enemies around the room in a cool pattern. Now we can unbold that from our list and see our creation. So I can see islands and enemies all around the room. If I shoot one, it is defeated. 
Everything works well. We hope you have fun placing enemies in cool patterns and making the game hard, but not too difficult. Don't forget to save your games and ask your teachers if you have any questions.